an aneurysm can be caused by uh, family history of having brain aneurysms, meaning you're more predisposed to having arteries that are a, a bit weaker that uh, may eventually develop into uh, a, a ballooning or a saccular type uh, aneurysm. Uh, it also can be aided by people who smoke cigarettes. Um, blood pressure and hypertension specifically can also be a risk factor for someone to, to have an aneurysm rupture or even develop an aneurysm. One is if you do have a family history of a brain aneurysm uh, and, and a first degree relative, especially a ruptured brain aneurysm in someone that's a first degree relative, it's probably not unreasonable to have screening done to make sure you're not also harboring an aneurysm. Because again, if we can catch it early and treat it electively, the overall complication rates and prognosis are very, very good. Um, the second thing I tell most people is if you're a smoker, stop smoking. And that's just the standard advice most doctors are, are saying, of course. Third thing is if you do have high blood pressure, try to control your blood pressure into a range that's, you know, um, considered normal work with your doctor to and primary care doc to help with that process um, and then exercise and just eating right taking care of yourself also has been shown to be somewhat protective for just about any arterial problem in the body but beyond that there's not a whole host of things someone can do necessarily to try to ward off a brain aneurysm um, and i think the most important next step in my advice is there are treatments for it and there are things we can do about it and if it's caught early the prognosis is not as as doom and gloom as most people associate with the word brain aneurysm uh, and that you've got a great team and you've got a good uh, group of individuals from both pre-op to post-operative care you know right here uh, in Dayton that can take care of all these problems and and have uh, very good success with it.